Well, this video is long overdue. I was tagged to do the TMI tag by several friends on YouTube and I thought today would be a good day to do it because the weather forecast said it was raining all week but magically the sun appeared so I thought I would take advantage of it. I am wearing a sweater by Pixie Market and some sweatpants from Brandy Melville. No socks. Yes, I have, and I'm currently in love now. Let's be real, all breakups suck, and I've been lucky enough not to have a really dramatic or a sensationalized breakup. Most of the time, it's just people grow apart, and it sucks, and it's depressing, but that's life. I am five foot one. I honestly don't know, I haven't weighed myself in around seven months. I'm not losing sleep over it. I just try my best to eat as healthy as I can and sometimes I indulge and I work out. So that's that. Not yet, but I really want to get one in 2015. Not like a huge like leg tattoo or anything, but just maybe something small because I feel like, I don't know, YOLO. <laughs> just my ears for now. I've racked my brain thinking of a couple that I want to, you know, just go on and on and I keep drawing a blank. So I'm just gonna say my mom and dad. <laughs> Recently, I've been loving Modern Family. It's a show that not a lot of people watch, surprisingly, and it freaks me out because it's a really good show. It's really hilarious, witty, smart, and it has like a range of characters. So yeah, if you want to feel good and unwind, then you should definitely check out Modern Family. My classic three are what I call the heads because they're Radiohead, Blonde Redhead, and Portis Head. <laughs> they're three incredible bands that I always find myself going back to, but honestly I like a whole range of music from hip-hop, pop, and electronic. I like everything. If it's got a good melody, then I'm into it. I really miss packing a lunch. It's something that I always did when I was going to school or work. And ever since I graduated, I there's really no purpose for me to pack a lunch unless I'm going on a picnic. So maybe I should go on more picnics. I don't like this question because it puts a lot of pressure to deem one song as your absolute favorite. I would say this week it's probably Bad Girls by M.I.A. because it's really upbeat and it's fun to get ready to. I'm 24 years old. So my birthday falls on the cusp between a Virgo and a Libra and I really identify with both signs because I have like the neuroticism and the organization of a Virgo but the emotional and passionate sides from the Libra. So together I think it makes a pretty good mix and I'm really happy with my signs. <laughs> my partner has to be open-minded because I can't stand people who think that their side is the only one that's right. If you can't see another person's perspective or their story then it's just not gonna work out. I'm not saying that they have to agree to everything, but just be tolerant about it. Hysteria is impossible without an audience. And this is by Chuck Palahniuk in his book, Invisible Monsters. And this is a mantra that really helped me this past year because I think prior to this quote, I've noticed that whenever I'd get really overwhelmed, emotional, or stressed out about a problem, my first gut reaction would to be call someone I loved and talk about it because that's what study tells us. Like if you have something in, you gotta let it out. And I let it out a lot. And to be honest, it was getting to a point where it it wasn't helping me. If anything, talking about it over and over would just kind of feed the hysteria and having someone who was listening would just amplify my problem. I think it's really similar to when you're on the verge of crying and then someone asks you, are you okay? And then it just like releases the floodgates and you're crying and you're like, I didn't have to cry. It's a little like that. And we're not saying that you need to internalize all your problems and do everything on your own. When you're alone, you have to rely on yourself to get it together and move on. And I think this quote is, what kind of helped me become a stronger person. I would have to say Amy Poehler. I absolutely love her in Parks and Recreation. She's just a strong female lead and really positive, not afraid to show emotion, but she gets her stuff done at the end of the day. It would be black, but if I had to choose an actual color, it would be seafoam. I'm loud, I love to crank it up. The speakers in my car are both blown out, so that says a lot. <laughs> Probably my couch. I always like to go in a nice fetal position with a blankie over me with some television on. It's my happy place. <laughs> if I'm not washing my hair, it would take me around 15 to 20 minutes. I personally haven't, but I've witnessed several. My first fight I've witnessed was when I was 15. My locker mate got jumped right next to me. I was like, oh my god, it was, I think it was like some drama about a boy, but this girl just like pulled my locker mate's hair and just started like throwing it down right in front of me, and I was like, 
I didn't know what to do. It was just so real. And her earring, I remember, flung on my head and I was like, I can't. This is too crazy. I've also seen a lot of fights when I was working as a hostess at a sports bar. Just drunk men and sports don't really mix, especially if they're on opposing teams. Bad idea. I love nice teeth. I like a guy who takes care of his mouth. <laughs> A big turnoff for me is when someone is really picky, but they can't make up their mind. It's just like, what do you want, man? <laughs> like, there's a difference between preference and just being high maintenance. I joined YouTube because I was in a rut. I was going to community college and a lot of my peers were off to prestigious universities and everything. I just felt really left behind and I felt like I wasn't doing anything with my time. I just felt stuck. And so I joined YouTube to have a creative outlet and create something and feel like I was making a contribution somewhere. I am scared of a lot of things. I am scared of letting the people I love down. I am scared of peaking, which means that the best time of my life is already over or is happening now and nothing in my life is going to be as good as it is now. I'm scared of letting things go and I'm also scared of horror film trailers. I would say moving, a lot of elements of moving, it's kind of like the ultimate letting go. I absolutely love the place that I live in. I loved living in the Bay, but it's time for me to move on because I need to be closer to my family. All the work is down in LA and there's nothing here for me in the Bay anymore, which is really sad for me to say out loud and um, I was feeling really anxious about it and I had to let a good cry out but I feel better about it I feel ready to move ready to start a new chapter in my life right now one of my favorite vintage shops in San Francisco is called Close Contact and I would always mess up the name and call it Close Encounters like over and over and over again and it finally hit me that it would probably be a good username for something thus the channel was created <laughs> Someone Like You by Roald Dahl, collection of short stories by him. I'm about to start The Agony and the Ecstasy by Irving Stone. It's been on my to read list for years now and I thought I'd finally try it out. It's about Michelangelo's life and it's supposed to be pretty accurate so I'm really stoked on that. <laughs> Sex in the City, I love reruns, I love watching it while I'm eating meals. It's just very calming to me. My boyfriend. My best friend. I love all food, especially spicy food, but I'm getting to an age where my stomach lining, my stomach aren't agreeing with me. So every time I eat something spicy, I have heartburn now, which makes me sound like a grandma, but I just pop a Pepto before and I'm all good. <laughs> I am desperate to go to Iceland. I've seen photos of it, Bjork is from there, and I want to go because I think there's like some hot springs, right? And I want to take a cool photo in there and just soak in the hot spring. That would be ideal. My P.O. box. Almost a month now. It's probably happening right now. That's what happens when you put yourself out on the internet. It doesn't phase me because I'm not reading it. Vanilla ice cream. I know it's the most tame and boring answer, but I don't care. It always hits the spot for me. It's hard to mess up vanilla ice cream. I started off with piano and then I quit when I was like 11, but I really wish I stuck with it because now I don't know how to play that much. I know how to read music, but only like that side, the one that looks like a Disneyland squiggle, but the other one that looks like an ear, like, I lost you. But I do know how to play a few songs from Muscle Memory. I know how to play Fur Elise in its entirety, and I know how to play Apex Twins April 14th. And I also used to play the flute in middle school. I started probably this ring from Etiquette, and I love how it has elements of edge with a spike and elegance with the uh, little stones on top. It's just such a beautiful piece, and I freaking love it. Probably a Christmas song. Rudolph, did you just fart? you just blew me away. Probably the last time someone asked me what my favorite chat up line was. It was last Saturday with John Claude and Anissa. We were hanging out at the Roosevelt and we got food together. Stephanie, she needs to answer to these. And I'm pretty sure everyone on YouTube has already filmed this video. So if you haven't yet, you gotta film it because even I'm doing it now. <laughs> so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If any of my answers resonated with you or if you can relate to them in some way, I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mwah.